So welcome to today's lecture. And for today, we're looking at section D of your model one, which we'll be talking about pharmacy as a health care service. In fact, this lecture is a continuation of section C. And I know section C, we ended on the healthcare team, if you remember, where we spoke concerning the medical team, the pharmaceutical healthcare team, the auxiliary team. For today's lecture on the pharmacy as a healthcare service, it will be basically a continuation of the pharmaceutical care team. The place of pharmacy in the healthcare system. Now, healthcare is defined as a prevention, treatment, and management of illness, as well as the preservation of mental and physical well being through the services by the medical pharmacy, nursing, and allied health professions. The pharmaceutical service plays a vital role in the healthcare delivery system. The pharmacy is the first point of call in most communities when people are ill. And I believe, as we said in the previous lecture, most often than not, if somebody is sick in a community, the first place they will go is the pharmacy to seek um, help, all right? Now, normally when the pharmacy sees that the particular type of ailment is above their care, they will recommend the patients to go and see a specialist for further attention to be given. Now, let's get some of the rules of the pharmacy at the hospital. For those of us that we may end up at the hospital, first of all, they keep charge of all medication and ensures their proper storage okay so no medicines are kept in the nursing quarters or they are not kept in the do doctor's consulting room all medicines at the hospital is kept at the pharmacy they also provide the best and most appropriate alternative to prescriber sometimes prescribers will want to know whether they have alternative for example the patient have been prescribed an anti-malaria drug let's say atestinate and ambodiaquine and this patient is reacting to attestinates and medicine. The prescriber or the doctor can call the pharmacy to see whether there will be an alternative to attestinates and medicine. All right. Being the last and most important point in service delivery by dispensing the right medicine for patients. For this one, to normally a patient will go through the hospital, and if a prescription is given, the pharmacy would be the last point of service. The patient will visit before they leave the hospital. So the pharmacy here is able to detect if they have been a mistake in the value chain, okay, right from the consultation to the prescription. So the pharmacy plays an important role to here. Also, being responsible to the patient's well being through counseling and education of patients on their diseases and the proper use of medicine, okay. So a lot of pharmacy will do counseling and education services for patients when they have various conditions and diseases. The pharmaceutical care team, okay, has the pharmacist as the head of the team. Other members in the team who are to dispense under the supervision of the pharmacist are, we are the dispense technologists and the dispense technicians. Okay, the difference between these two is that the technologists are more trained than the technicians, okay. Then we have the dispensing assistants and attendants, okay? Normally for these dispensing assistants, they don't have any qualification, they are trained in-house. That is a pharmacy, we decide to train them to assist them. Then we have the Lancet chemical sellers. Then we have our medicine counter assistants who also form part of the pharmaceutical care team. Now let's look at a chain of referral in the pharmacy. The community pharmacy serves as a first point of call to many people when they are sick. Now, the pharmacy, okay, or pharmacists, as a first point of call, can handle emergencies when somebody rush a patient uh, that have convulsed or in the coma or accident or fire or burns. Okay, these pharmacists provide emergency services to save lives before the patient is referred to the hospital. Therefore, the pharmacy plays a central role in the healthcare delivery system as it serves as the first, first point of call and the last point of service. Okay, first point of call normally when patient comes there, 
is the first place they will come. Then the pharmacy may refer them to go to a hospital. And after they've been to the hospital, they may come to the pharmacy with a prescription. That's why I say they are the last point of call. The motto of the Pharmaceutical Society of Ghana is Amicus Humani Generis. And basically, it means friends of the human race. Amicus Humani Generis. Amicus Humani Generis. Friends of the human race. And this one is central to our functioning, okay? And that is what shows when we come to a pharmacy. The way we practice shows that we are friends indeed of the human race. Pharmacists are allowed to give treatment for simple ailments of common occurrence, which includes diarrhea, malaria, headaches, common uh, problems like stomach aches, etc. under the law. Okay, and I remember when we did the law, we saw the section under medical aid. The pharmacy may refer serious dental problems to the dentist, skin disease to the dermatologist, general conditions to the general practitioner. Okay. The pharmacy also does not suggest a name of an institution or person to a patient. Rather, he advises the patient to consult a specialist or the appropriate person in the field. And here we have said that it's against our ethics for us to suggest a name. That's why we don't see it. And the pharmacy also serves medicines, prescriptions from medical doctors, dentists, veterinary doctors, etc. But do not diagnose. Okay, that's a prerogative of, of, of doctors. All right. However, the pharmacy serves as a major source of referrals for other diseases, and this could be life-threatening diseases. So basically, what the pharmacy, a major role in the health delivery is what we have stated. Okay, you can see the pharmacy is very important as a point of referral of diseases, treating emergencies, serving prescriptions, and giving first aid to other patients. The pharmacy is very important. Chain of command and referral. Now, when you're working in a pharmacy, we should respect authority. So within a pharmacy setting, there exists a chain of referral of cases and issues. In bigger institutions, okay, like bigger hospitals like Kolibu, Fishing Hospital, Konfanoche, 37 Military Hospital, there's a hierarchy of the chief pharmacist, deputy chief pharmacist, principal pharmacist, senior pharmacist, and the pharmacist is followed for administrative procedure in addressing of issues in pharmaceutical care team setting, okay? So here, this is more complex, but when it comes to our pharmacy, small pharmacy in the community pharmacy, we may not be seeing all this type of pharmacy, but if you're going to work in a big hospital, you'll be seeing all this type of uh, administrative procedures and pharmacists acting. As an MCA, all issues beyond your domain are to be reported the dispense technician who in turn reports to the pharmacist where the issue is beyond him. In the absence of dispense technician, the pharmacist can be contacted directly on issue. So if you're working in a pharmacy and there's a problem, we don't want them to go straight to the pharmacy because sometimes the pharmacist may be under pressure to attend to other important issues. Okay, so if there's a dispense technician or sometimes say an older MC. You refer such issues and cases to them. If they are not able to help, then it's referred to the pharmacist for assistance. The role of the various players in the pharmaceutical care team. And the pharmaceutical care team has among its duties to inject, sorry, to interpret, pack, and dispense medications to patients or customers. Okay. The team also has to manage the stock of medicines available and ensure their proper storage. They also make sure that drugs are not out of stock in the pharmacy and they purchase medicines for the pharmacy. The team also provides counseling services to the patients or customers on the usage of medications and disease conditions. Okay, so these are a few of the rules that the team as a whole plays. Now, when it comes specifically to the pharmacist, and this is very important for you to understand why the pharmacist is the head of the pharmacy. They are involved in active selection of medicines for purchasing and supply of medication to patients, customers, as well as other healthcare providers. So, so when we come to the pharmacy, you can see that the pharmacists play all these roles in helping the patient, also to ensure that records are duly and properly kept. 
When you work in any pharmacy, the pharmacy will insist that all records are kept for this include your sales record, okay, what we have sold in a day, inventory record, items we sold and items we have received, uh, records of patients' prescriptions are supposed to be filed for at least two years, okay. So all these records are kept at the pharmacy. To repair or supervise the preparation of extemporaneous preparations, okay. When you see something is extemporaneous, it means that these products ordinarily are not already prepared. Okay, we have some medicines that once we walk into the pharmacy, we can sell to you. But there's some medicine when you enter the pharmacy, we don't have it on the shelf unless we repair the medicine or compound the medicine for you at the pharmacy. Products that are not available on the shelves and we have to compound for the patient to take home are called extemporaneous preparation. And normally these products have a very short shelf life. When you see shelf life, it means that once we repair within maximum a week or two, we should discard these medicines. Okay. So the pharmacist either prepare or supervise the operation of such extemporaneous operations and to update himself and other members of the pharmacy on new trends in the management of diseases and other professional issues. So the pharmacy here too always is reading and also updates the team on new trends and to ensure clean decent and attractive professional environment okay so the pharmacist or pharmacist always ensure that the pharmacy should be clean decent attractive and it should have a professional environment when we come to the other duties too the pharmacist is to ensure that shelves and stocks are rid of deteriorated expired banned thick and substandard medicines okay so any sign medicine is not good, it takes, it's taken from the shelf, a spad or band or thick, okay, or substandard. Substandard is a medicine that is below the standard, okay. So let's say the medicine should have 500 milligrams, like rice thermal, but this medicine is having less than 500 milligrams, let's say 300 milligrams. Such medicines are called substandard medicine. A thick medicine is a medicine that is not, does not contain or it's not from the manufacturer okay it doesn't contain any active ingredient in fact when you take it nothing's going to happen to you because it may have thick or substandard or no active ingredient and to uphold moral and professional conduct that will not bring the profession of pharmacy into disrepute so that's the rule of the pharmacist okay that the mcs and the whole team would uphold moral and professional standards so that we don't bring this disrepute the image of pharmacy. Also to ensure that premises is duly registered and staff have adequate training in providing the required services. Also subject to the provision of Act 857-2013 to supply class A drugs only on prescription and ensure that class B medicines, that is the pharmacy only medicines, are only supplied to persons reasonably believed to be responsible. And the last one, the pharmacist also counsel and advise patients and clients on medicines and other related matters. All right. So these are a few of the responsibilities or duties of a pharmacist in a community pharmacy. Let's look at a dispensing technologist. Now, the role of the dispensing technologist may vary slightly depending on the type of facility they work. Those who assist the pharmacist in the hospital may vary from those who do so in other sectors. Now, some of the duties they perform under the supervision of the pharmacist include they receive, verify, and serve prescriptions, they calculate price of drug on prescriptions, they serve prescriptions of the National Health Insurance Scheme, and they also file the forms, okay? They help with inventory and stock management, okay? When we talk about inventory and stock, we are talking about the medicines we have, the, the quantities, and whether they are in good states, okay? And also, they help stocking medication and other duties as may be determined by the pharmacist. Okay. And the last one is the medicine counter assistant, which I think we've done it already several times. Assisting in dispensing process, assisting pre packing of medications, sorting out of drugs under supervision, sale of over the counter medicines under supervision, assisting in inventory management basic health education, keeping the pharmacy tidy, providing good customer service, assisting in purchasing 
and also performing clerical duties okay so these are some of the few lessons that i would want us to know about the pharmacy team and why we should work as a team it's important as an mc you stick with your duties these are the duties of the mc please don't perform duties that are meant for the dispense technicians or technologists don't perform the duty of the pharmacist because you may not have the requisite training please let's all work within our job registration okay so i uh, bring to this lecture this section d it's a very simple lecture here yeah, i'm not giving any assignment but to ensure that please if you've read it i will just want you to send a mail to my inbox so that i can record your name all right so just send if your name is Yamansa, you just send me a mail that you are able to go through the slide. All right. So today I'm letting you rest. No assignments for today. But as I've said, please send a mail to my inbox to notify me that you've, you attended or you've read through the lecture. Thank you all. Stay safe and God be with us all. Thank you.